Welcome, my name is Bryce from Vagabond Teardrop Caravan, South Africa. Today I'd like to just go through our flagship model, which is the Vagabond Rogue. The Vagabond Rogue has a tear weight of 550 kgs. It is a braked axle, and we have options at 750 kgs braked and 1.4 tons braked. The 750 kg option is a great option for customers that have lighter vehicles such as the Suzuki Jimny or the Renault Duster or any smaller vehicle with a GVM or tear weight I should say of 1.5 tons. It's got, it comes standard with 15 inch tires, steel rims, it's got a 5 leaf blade suspension and galvanized chassis. The axle has a load bearing weight of 1.5 tons. As you can see the body is protected with a powder coated checker plate that runs right away around the caravan. It also has powder coated side impact bars that also double up um, as steps for you to be able to access the top of the caravan. The fiberglass wheel arches also have a fiberglass gas bottle holder big enough to take your 3 kg gas bottle. The Vagabond Rogue comes in four color options. It's gray, white, green or beige. We are also able to custom color to your liking. One of the great features in the Vagabond range is that we have a fantastic big door for ease of access in and out of the unit. It's got a tried and tested caravan locking system as well as pressure locks to help with dust and water. Seeing that when we go camping in South Africa, we seem to, to do most of our activities outdoors. And one of the key ingredients to that when we go camping is to have a really user-friendly kitchen. This is the back door that opens up and reveals the Vagabond Rogue's kitchen. Going through some of the features of the kitchen, our main prize over here, is our Snowmaster 50 litre 12 volt 220 volt fridge freezer. With opening and closing, well insulated, great freezer to have on your journey. We have an extra Heller plug in the back here as well for anything else that you'd like to plug in there. We have our basin. We have a microwave and we have our grocery cupboards one of the lovely things about these cupboards is that if you are set up for a longer stay they are removable and you can take them you can wash them if they're dirty and you don't have to open and close your cupboards each and every single time you want to go inside On this side over here, we have our uh, 15 amp plug point with two two prong plug points as well as a three prong 15 amp point as well. The basin is fed from our 80 liter water tank with a submersible pump. It has a tap for emptying as well as filling up buckets, washing feet, anything else that you would need water for. And it is fed by this nifty water inlet that's well hidden behind the number pad. Also at the back of the caravan, you'll see we have these two mounting plates. This is for an optional extra of a rear tow bar, perfect for mounting bicycles, motorbikes, anything else that you'd want to store on your Vagabond. Otherwise, you could even tow two Vagabonds behind each other. A great feature on the Vagabond Rogue that gives it a rugged look is that we have our spare wheel mounted securely on the side of the van. It's at a really good working height, easy to access if you have an emergency, no climbing underneath, climbing on the top, leaning over anything, really good workable height for you to be able to get that off as quickly as possible and to get you back on the road as soon as possible. Just moving through to the front of the Vagabond, we can see we have our brake system, really sturdy coupler, heavy duty jockey wheel, and again, that checker plate front end protection running around the front of the van. Moving into the nose cone, we have a lovely big space here. The nose cone houses your battery as well as your fire extinguisher 
and you can use this space for anything else that you'd want to keep out of the main body of the caravan, wet ground sheets, uh, fishing tackle boxes, anything else that you wouldn't want just lying around and it's stored away nice and neatly. Also on the front in the nose cone, we have our 220 volt inlet that powers through the van into our charging system in the front and powers up the entire van for you to enjoy your holiday. Something we wanted to make sure about in our Vagabond range is that we had a really decent stove setup. Something that you could hook up quickly on the side of a road or if you just wanted a decent area where you could have two pots on. And so we've gone with a double stove system that we'll show you now. The setup of the stove is really easy. and nice and easily accessible right next to our gas bottle. Another little great feature about our stove is that it pulls away from the body, preventing splash back and heat onto the body. And then you've still got a really nice surface behind it here to put bottles, condiments, whatever your cooking equipment is that you've got with you. When you don't want to use it anymore, push it back. You can even clip it off, store it underneath so that it's easily accessible next time you want to cook with it. So then just to give you a good idea of what the entire kitchen and your cooking setup would look like, we've got your two burner stove, nice table, and then your kitchen area. Easily get your fridge, your basin, microwave, cutlery, and away you are. All right, we're moving inside the Vagabond Rogue now. And the inside living space is packed with incredible features. One comment we always get is how much packing space there really is inside this unit. We have three overhead lockers, two above headboard lockers, at the foot of the bed we have two more large shelved cupboards as well as a little secret storage space our headboards also lift up and as you'll see we have three more big lockers that are there as well over here we also have our hercules charger that powers the entire unit If you're looking for power inside, we have a 15 amp plug, two prong plug, and two USB ports as well. All of our windows and openings have got mosquito or bug protection on them. And open up in order for you to access our large windows as well. Same goes for the roof, mosquito netting and you're able to access your roof vent that you can also leave open on lovely clear evenings for you to be able to watch the stars while you lie in bed. The road comes with a queen size mattress at the and at the bottom we have a 12 volt port for you to be able to plug in hair dryers anything else that you need a 12 volt uh, power for. We also have 12 volt LED lights, the light on the headboard side swivels for you to be able to look what's inside the cupboard as well as shine into the main body of the caravan as well as another 18 LED light that shines into the general area of the body. A great little feature here is that you can remove this panel and it allows you to take your fridge out. So if you're going away somewhere or you're going on a day trip and you, that you're not using a Vagabond with, you can take your fridge out and take that with you as well. The full inside of the Rogue is really nicely upholstered with this gray upholstery to give it a really classy finish and a little homely feel as well. <clears throat> and then for a little bit of privacy, we have roller blinds that will roll down just past window height. It doesn't affect your duvet when you're sleeping. And when you want to climb out, give that a roll up as well. 
overall really nice spacious feel inside of the Rogue. Um, nice and open, really lovely space to sit and relax, have a good night's sleep, or if it's a really rainy day, sit in here and read a book. Another awesome feature about the Vagabond range is the powder coated roof rails. These roof rails are reinforced from the inside, load tested to be able to take some load bars, a full roof rack. By mounting a rooftop tent, you're able to convert the Vagabond Rogue into, from a two sleeper into a four sleeper. Something we gave a lot of thought to was our rear door assembly. We wanted to make sure that when you opened your rear door, it was at a height that's both workable, but also that you can mount a 270 degree awning that'll wrap all the way around and cover both your kitchen area and your living space and allow you to move freely between the two. And once you've put sidewalls on that 270 degree awning, you have the ultimate camping setup.